Hey friends, it's Miss Ashley and I am here in my own backyard. I'm here to show you the backyard grammar activity and hopefully give you some inspiration. Maybe you didn't realize how interesting your own outdoor space is until it comes down to doing some grammar. So when we talk about grammar, we're talking about the parts of speech. We're talking about the individual words that we use. And in this activity, you are going to be looking for some nouns. If you remember in Montessori, nouns are the naming words. They're the names of people, places, and things in our environment. And we use the symbol of the black triangle for noun. We're also gonna be looking for adjectives. Once you see a noun, you wanna think of some words to describe that noun. And we use a dark blue, a bit smaller than the noun triangle. Um, and this triangle represents the adjective. Adjectives are those description words, the words to describe nouns. But it doesn't stop there because there's so much action happening around us and we're going to be looking for verbs. Verbs are our action words. These are the words that um, we can see and sometimes we can't see. For example, I could see someone running, but um, I also can feel love towards someone. So different types of action words, whether they're concrete or abstract, are verbs with the red circle. And then lastly, we have adverbs. This is a challenge. Once you identify a verb and an action happening in your environment, you can come up with some words to describe how that action is taking place. And those are called adverbs. So the first thing you need to do to get started is to create a chart. This chart is going to be used for your record. Um, I put a title on mine. It says Backyard Grammar, and I put the author by Ashley. I used a ruler to create some categories I have. My noun category my adjective category, verb, and I added adverb because I'm up for a challenge. At the very end, I also am going to come up with one complete sentence, including an article, a, an, or the, to describe one particular thing that I see in this activity. So I have something special that I'm going to use for most of my observation, and these are my chickens. My chickens have been with me a few years, and what I'm gonna do is spend some time watching them. Now, right away, when I turn the camera this way, you can see some nouns, probably the same ones I do. I see chickens. So I'm gonna write chickens down under my noun category. They are also in a coop. A coop is what you call the structure where they are enclosed. So that's another noun I see. I also see a log inside. And I see some dirt. I'm seeing a lot of different things as I'm observing my chickens. Ooh, did you see that flap? The flap of the wings? That was an action, that's a verb. I'm gonna write down flap. And I also, hmm, see one kind of scratching. That would be a verb. I'll write that down. Scratching. What else do I see? Okay, there's one walking. Ooh, whoa, that was walking quickly. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add quickly to my adverb area of, of my chart because that described how that action was happening. Ooh, there's walking, but that is walking slowly. That's another adverb. Oh my goodness, some scratching is happening. Scratching is happening. That is a verb. Oh, I already had scratching. I guess they're very itchy. Ooh, maybe that would be an adjective to describe my chickens. They're itchy. They're kind of running away, but I can tell you that I see that one is brown, one is white, and my goodness, I've gotten a lot of things for my chart. So I'm going to turn back this way so you can see how I've recorded some of the things I was just talking about. Under my noun category, I added chickens, coop, log, and dirt. Over here for adjectives, I was describing my chickens some of them were itchy. I saw one and she was brown and another she's white. Some of the verbs I saw flap or flapping. I'll add flapping, scratching, walking. Now that I think about one was sitting. So I think I'm going to put sitting. And then I even saw when they started walking, there were two different ways that the chickens were choosing to walk. One was walking quickly and one was walking slowly. So what I'm gonna do is take some of these ideas and then I'm gonna build a sentence. 
So I'm going to start out here with an article, a, an, or the, and I'm going to choose the because it's a sentence. I'm going to start with a capital T in the, and I'm going to write the chickens. And actually, whoops, see what I did? You might do this too. You might make a mistake. And so I put my chickens in the wrong category. If you remember, chickens are a noun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross that out because my pencil does not have an eraser. And I'm going to say the curious chickens peck quickly. I'm going to add a period at the end of my sentence. So I have the curious chickens peck quickly. And that would be a way for me to symbolize an entire sentence. So friends, go outside, get some fresh air, and take some time to sit and observe. You might be surprised what you find. See you later. Bye.